Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to change the RGB colors on your MSI Trident. Make sure your computer's on, go to the Start menu, and then go down to the Dragon Center. If this is the first time you're opening it up, then go ahead and read the terms, click OK. Then it lets you know that it actually requires administrator permissions in order for it to finish the installation. So essentially, you have to run this as administrator. So go ahead and exit, close this, go back to the Start, go back to the Dragon Center, right click on the dragon center icon go to more run as administrator click yes and then now it's going to start fully installing now in all honesty this actually does take a while to install now it's going to ask you to create an account if you haven't already or log in if you already have an account so once you're fully logged in go to the home button here on the top left and then next to that, you'll see a variety of options that you can go into. We're going to go to Mystic Light. And then here you can actually see the RGB lights that you have on your Trident. And it actually does move in real time. So all the colors that you're actually seeing right now, like these that are changing, these are actually live what I'm actually seeing here in my studio. Now under here, you can actually have three different profiles that you can switch between whenever you want. So whatever colors you set, you'll be able to switch between the profiles to give it the mood that you want. Right now, we're going to stick with profile one. Now, there are quite a few different options here, but really, I'm just going to focus on changing the lights to how I want them to be now. We're going to go here to the LED style. This is where I can instantly change the LED lights. So right now, this is the default. You can choose between rainbow, rainbow wave, clock, random, steady, a whole bunch of different types of movement within the light. So let's say, for example, we go to marquee. Now, this is a preview. This is not going to actually change into your tower until you click apply. And then here you can also change the colors that you want. I'm going to choose this blue and click apply. Now let's change it to something else. I want to go into a breathing style. We're just kind of slightly and slowly pulsates. And I want to change it to red. Now we're going to click apply. Some LED styles like breathing allow you to change the various LED lights independent of one another. So for example, here you see LED select all. If you click on that, you can actually change up to four different lights. Now, so you can see this more clearly. Let's change it from breathing to steady. Now the lights are going to stay on the entire time. Click apply. So if we go to change the color for LED one, that's actually this top half up here. LED light two is this horizontal light here in the front and then the left where the GPU is. LED light three is the bottom half of the front of the tower. And LED four is the right where the fan is. Now I wanna match these lights to fit my studio. In my current studio, I have purple and blue lights. On LED one, I'm gonna do a custom color so right now, currently, I have this preset color set. I'm going to click on that, and then now I can actually put in my own color. I can either choose any one that I want from the wheel, or I can actually write in the number values for the RGB. I want the one and three lights to be purplish, so I'm going to put 10, 0, 160. Now, if I click Apply now, that color is going to change instantly on my tower. Now for LED2, which is the horizontal and the left GPU, I'm going to make those more blue. 0, 100, and 255. If I click apply, I instantly see the change on my tower. For LED3, which is here in the front bottom half, I'm going to match that with the purple on top. 10, 0, and 160. And then number 4, the one on the right, is going to match the one on the left. Now you don't have to click apply every time you do one of the LEDs. You can do all the changes to all four and then click apply and then it'll apply all of them. But if you want to see them change in real time, then you can click apply every time you make a change to a specific LED. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.